just what I mean You too, T, keep it clean You see my boy, he like got a made it Well, that's my homie, ain't that right and graving So you too, team, keep it clean Did, did y'all see uh, Baker Mayfield in that Raven sketch release video? Because I sure did Anyway, Jarvis Landry he has been a hot topic, a hot commodity uh, amongst Ravens fans over these past couple of weeks, especially uh, ever since he got released from the Cleveland Browns. Ever since he got released, um, there's been a lot of talk about if the Ravens should sign one Jarvis Landry, if he could help take this team to that next level at, at the wide receiver position and just really as a leader. Um, and some people are for it, some people are against it, and some people are right in the middle. Um, but Jarvis Landry, no doubt his name commands attention. And it certainly got the attention of Ravens fans because yesterday, uh, Ravens quarterback Lamar Jackson um, on his Instagram, he was advertising for Spence Fit because he had on he was running on a track field and he had on his 60 pound uh, weight vest. And that's like 60 pounds ain't nothing to mess with. That's like picking up a couple of kids and putting them on your back and running full speed. But Lamar was running past full speed. With them extra 60 pounds on him, um, on the track field. And I was like, okay, Lamar, we see you, big dog. But somebody else that saw it was one Jarvis Landry. And he took to Instagram and he commented on Lamar's post. And he said, yes, sir, I need that. And boy, that was all she wrote. Because, you know, Ravens fans, they got their notifications turned on for any single wide receiver that comments on any player's Post every single one. And ooh, it's in Ravens flock into a frenzy. Cause they were like, come through, come home. Tony Jefferson even said slide through. We remember Jawan James about a week ago. He hit up Jarvis Landry on Twitter. He said, Hey, what's up, man? Jarvis Landry responded to him. So it's been a lot of interaction with some Ravens players and Jarvis Landry. Jarvis Landry and some Ravens players. Um, but again, I'm, I'm holding out, not necessarily even holding out hope. I'm just, I'm chill on it because I'm not getting overly excited because like I told y'all before, players that have been publicly linked to the Ravens and, uh, guys who the Ravens have been publicly interested in, it hasn't happened. It hasn't went down. Um, and I, I hate to go through the list again, but, um, there was, a. Uh, Emmanuel Agba, there was Darius Smith, there was Bobby Wagner, there was Melvin Gordon. Um, who else am I missing? <laughs> oh, Tyron Matthew, there was him too. Um, and that, that's just this offseason. That, that's just this offseason. And I think there, there may have been some more this offseason, but it just hasn't worked out. But the guys who it's been hush-hush about, it ain't been like, oh, man, Ravens are interested in this guy. They got those guys, like a Marcus Williams, like a Morgan Moses. Pat Ricard, you could put a little asterisk there because he was with the Ravens the previous season. So with Jarvis Landry, I'm just like, okay, we'll see what happens. I'm not really expecting anything, but we'll see what happens. Um, but his comment on Lamar Jackson's Instagram got a lot of people buzzing. Because a lot of people think, oh yeah, it's time. It's getting ready to go down any second now. And it could. It could. But it also couldn't. Now, with social media, I, I know sometimes people feel like people look too far deep into social media and it's not really what it is. Because one comment that I, I've been seeing over these past couple of days, because we've been talking a lot about Chuck Clark. There have been all these different developments with this whole Chuck Clark situation. And I, I keep seeing people say, oh. Chuck Clark, all he was do, doing was quoting, um, I think it was a J. Cole, J. Cole lyrics. His tweet the other day, oh, it could go up or it could go down. That was J. Cole lyrics. Or was it Kendrick? No, I think it was J. Cole. Shout out to Kendrick, by the way, just dropped. And, and I, I, I feel bad for Jack Harlow. Is Jack Harlow's album really that bad? So many people been getting on Jack Harlow saying, oh, his album is trash, it's garbage, it's this, it's that. And I don't know if it's just people hating just to hate, because, you know, people just, a lot of people just hate just to hate. But anyway, um, so a lot of people were saying that uh, with Chuck Clark, he, he was just tweeting out lyrics and that's it. So I responded to some of those people. I said, well, Hollywood, he was just tweeting out something from paid in full, but you, you know what he meant. So Chuck Clark, he knows exactly what he's doing. Chuck Clark ain't stupid. 
He ain't still. He's the smartest man on the defense. He knows what he's doing because what a lot of times these players will do, and it, it's all about timing. Too. I remember a couple years ago, uh, Stephon Diggs, before he got traded to uh, the Bills. I forget a lot of times that he was a Viking, but before he got traded to the Bills, he was tweeting out stuff. And some of it was some song lyrics, too. But it was it was song lyrics and tweets that where you could tell, like, oh, OK, <laughs> yeah, he don't want to be there. He don't want to be Yannick and Gakwe did the same thing before he got traded. So these play, they know what they're doing. And you can say, oh, yeah, it's just song lyrics. No, 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 no. They know. So with, but with social media, it's just it's so powerful. It's so powerful. And, and so much you, you, you look at it and you see the comments, you see different posts and whatnot. And a lot of times it makes you think. Sometimes it can be a lot of overthinking. Sometimes it can be underthinking. You can say, oh, yeah, it's just a song. No, 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 no. You just never know. Um, but with Jarvis Landry, this, where he said, yes, sir, I need that. I just thought he was talking about the vest. That's it. I just thought he was talking about the vest. He, he want a vest. Maybe he want to get a little bit faster for whatever the next team that he goes to is. Whoever that next team that he goes to is. He, he just want a little bit more speed. That's it. He's saying, hey, all these people saying I'm not a deep threat. Okay, you know what? Let me get that Spence vest and, and, and let me try that. Yes, sir, I need that. So, I mean, I, I just, I don't really think too much of it. I, 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 don't, I don't really think too much of it, man. I, um, I, it, I mean, it's, it, it's cool. And if Jarvis Landry came through, all right. But I'm not, I don't expect anything from, just because of this Instagram comment. I, I, don't, I don't really think it's much of anything. Um, but I know a lot of people, like I said, a lot of people uh, sent this to me yesterday. A lot. And shout out to all of y'all. Uh, but I told a lot of them the same thing. Like, oh, okay, cool, cool. We'll see what happens. But him saying, yes, sir, I need that, that doesn't really give me like a, a, a confidence boost. Like, oh, yeah, Ravens getting Jarvis Landry now. So, but shout out to everybody that commented under that. Because, boy, there's a lot of comments under that. Everybody ready. Hey, Jarvis, come home. Jarvis, come through. Jarvis, come to the Ravens. Um, But... We'll see if he actually does. Love y'all, team. Keep it clean. Appreciate y'all. Oh, special shout out to all the team. Keep it clean patrons, too. Can't forget about y'all, man. I love y'all. Thank you for supporting. And we are out. Yeah, this feels like a dream.